Our entrance hymn this morning is number 620. Hail the day that sees Christ rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace and love of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare our hearts to enter into the sacred mysteries, let us together call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of good we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ, your Son, is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, 
Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God while meeting with them. He enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands. Shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise, sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. A blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God. Sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance 
among the holy ones. And what is surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written, the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually continually in the temple praising God, the gospel of the Lord. Each year on the solemnity of the ascension of the Lord, we look up. We look up in hope. Jesus, as we heard in the opening collect, has taken his place, was raised up bodily into heaven to take his place at the right hand of the Father. He is our head, and we as the body, we look up in hope. And today, we need to do that in hope. We look up. You know, I do want to acknowledge, you know, you know, the events of Tuesday and how our nation experienced once again another tragedy in Texas. In the last couple of weeks, there have been many lives that have been impacted by acts of violence, lives lost, and lives forever changed. And our hearts and our prayers go out to all those individuals. The question we need to ask ourselves 
is how can we make a difference in the world? And the answer to that question is we look up. We look up to Jesus who gives us the perfect example of love. Love changes everything. We can never, ever underestimate the power of true love. And that is what Jesus demonstrated for us. We need to be more empathetic towards one another. We need to listen to one another, to be patient with one another, to love one another, to listen to each other, to encourage one another, and to be alert to people's needs. We need to be willing to help one another as our Lord Jesus Christ showed us. Jesus gives us the true love that we are called to share on the cross and on this very altar. Our Lord Jesus Christ comes to us body, blood, soul, and divinity in the Most Holy Eucharist, which was only possible by his ascension into heaven and the power of the Holy Spirit to transform the bread and wine into his very body, blood, soul, and divinity, the body in which and blood we receive in the Holy Eucharist. Yes, we look up in hope. And we ask our Lord Jesus Christ today to assist us in our mission. Because not only today do we look up in hope, you know, we also have to put ourselves in the disciples, where the two men dressed in white garments stood beside them and said, men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? Reminding you and me that we have an awesome responsibility to preach the gospel. See, Jesus' love demonstrated on the cross changed everything. Jesus' love changed everything for the positive. Jesus' love on the altar changes things for the positive. Jesus reminded his disciples in the Gospel of Luke, you are witnesses of these things. And there's two definitions of witness. Witness is to see something, but also witnesses are called to do something. We are called to observe and to act. To act. To act. And so today we need to pray that we can, having witnessed the Lord's love for you and me, to observe and to act and to go to teach all nations. The Alleluia verse, go and teach all nations, says the Lord, I will. I am with you always until the end of the world. There, we're reminded, the Lord is with you and me. Right here in the tabernacle. We come here for strength. We come here to be nourished. We come here to be encouraged. We come here to be challenged. We come here to be strengthened and sent forth into the world to be the hands and feet of Christ, to be the example that our Lord Jesus Christ desires for you and me, the mission that he has entrusted to us from our baptism and strengthened us from our confirmation. We follow the Lord. Yes, God does mount his throne to shouts of joy. And the trumpets blare. 
when things seem challenging, when things seem difficult, the Lord's, the trumpet blares for the Lord. The Lord is present. And so, as we celebrate this solemnity of the ascension of the Lord, he left us bodily to send us the Spirit whom we will call in a few short weeks. But this light, this torch, has been handed to you and me. And this is the torch and the light that we carry out into the world and allow it to burn brightly, to give the message of hope, to give the message of peace. And this is the message that will comfort us in difficulties and strengthen our hope. maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. When the risen Savior ascended into heaven, angels remind his disciples that he would come back again. Until he comes, we continue his work by praying for all peoples and their needs. That the church on earth will keep to its evangelical mission of making disciples of all nations, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the world may realize that they must give account of their work to Jesus Christ when he returns as our judge, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That no one will be so attached to this earth as to regret being called to eternal life in heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may all come to the maturity of faith in the fullness of the risen Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill and those who care for them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That all our dead may ascend to glory with Christ our priest and king, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of the holy sacrifice of the Mass being offered for George J. Getz, let us pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer, and may we also remember in our prayers those lives lost to acts of violence and families that will be ever, forever impacted, that the Lord may comfort them and during this difficult time. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God, our Father in heaven, your Son is now seated at your right hand, enthroned in eternal glory. We make our petitions through him with lives and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The offertory hymn is number 619, Sing We Triumphant Hymns of Praise. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, 
almighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together an ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Ronald, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, celebrating the most sacred day on which your only begotten Son, our Lord, Place at the right hand of your glory our weak human nature, which he had united to himself, and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, who are blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through the merit and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count them on the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with our eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. 
proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, the holy sacrifice, the spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with a sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, to those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies. Graciously grant some share and fellowship with the holy apostles and martyrs, which John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, yours now, and, now forever. and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The communion hymn is number 744, Alleluia, sing to Jesus. body of Christ the 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 body of Christ. The body of Christ. May the Lord bless you, Father, Holy Spirit, Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do that, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The recessional hymn is number 931, Go Make of All Disciples. Thank you. 